Hello, my name is Katie. I'm Hello. from California. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Yang. I'm from China. Very good, thank you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Sophia and I'm from Madrid. Very good. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Natalia. I'm from Madrid as well. Very good. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I am from uh, I'm from. And what is your name? From. From. From Andalusia. Francisco. Gotcha. Very nice. Thank you. So as you see, when I introduced myself to you, I shook your hand. We exchanged names and where we're from. In at least American culture, which is where I'm from. We always shake hands, especially when we're doing business introductions, right? Here in Spain, you have a culture where you do two kisses. In um, American culture, we would just shake hands. In China, what is the normal introduction? I guess shake the hand. Shake the hand? Yeah, it's kind of more like a camera mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. And as you can see, obviously, China is a big business culture as yeah. well. And it's very good to make sure that you don't overstep a boundary, right? So shaking hands is always going to be a safe introduction. It's very nice to meet you guys. Like I said, my name is Katie. I'm from California. And today, we're going to talk about business etiquette. First, I'm going to give you some situations that can be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes when you might not know what to do. So we are going to decide what are our best manners to use in these situations. So right up at the top of worksheet one, Fran, can you read that first sentence for me? Um, okay, you are sitting in the middle of a row of seats during a concert when you are overcome with cold. Very good. Now, what would you do in this situation? Hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe you could ask the other person to not cough directly in you. Mm -hmm. Now, turn what, around yeah, something. exactly. Now, what would you do if you were coughing? Would you get up and disturb the row? Or maybe ask someone for some water? What would you do? I guess in my case, I would try to, you know, uh, annoy uh, as less as possible. Mm -hmm. So maybe you just tap your, your mouth or mm -hmm. drink a little water and see if you have some uh, sweet or something. Just yeah. To see some. Exactly. Very good. And I think if you can't stop at all, maybe getting up and excusing yourself would be good. Very good. Okay. Can. I'm going to have you two work together, and then you all as a three, um, read the rest of the situations and discuss what would you do if this were happening to you, right? Okay. okay. Very uh, good. Do we just talk or do we like uh, Just speak about it, yeah, just discuss amongst yourselves, yeah. Do you want to start? Sure. Uh, so much so yeah, do you think we can all work together, maybe turn. <laughs> Uh, in my case, I, I think that I am going to stop him. Uh, I shall do it rather than him. So, so okay. Okay, okay, I'm not. I don't know. What would we do? I guess it would be polite, but anyway, I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not going to hear it again. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to hear it again. I just, I would be polite. Man, you just told me yesterday. Don't tell me another thing. I think it depends on the person. Yeah, right. Is it a close friend who would just say, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. or is it someone who wants to be like, oh, very okay. interested, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Very good. Right, you just let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Best friend, maybe you could say, remember I was there, right? Very good. Um, my friend ask you to be he, your honest opinion he, 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 and new idea he is your boss, for example, do you think it's okay? You might be polite, <laughs> um, say it in a funny way or something, so he doesn't get uh, upset about how you're telling me, you know, it's not nice, but they're good, 
was that you just okay. told me yesterday. <laughs> I, I guess uh, I uh, no, I'm not you me. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, actually, yeah, it is here. Sometimes uh, uh, I was like, what? Well, it's pretty. I'm going to eat the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. And um, if you are. Uh, uh, you have been invited uh, to the other side. Miss Kaki is in charge of the other side. Yeah, it's a very good point. But if you know, for example, uh, that uh, he suddenly realized that uh, he outside or yeah. already has already has already told you uh, once that thing so maybe uh, told yeah, that you could be why uh, or maybe that she did or something didn't tell me for a cute time you are in a yeah, I think there are different to but they are writing for the students cooking. We both do it. Or they do it. Hey, you guys are not done yet. I say, I don't know, some time drinking. Yeah, you can remind me of him. Yes. Have a glass of this wine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe yeah. I got uh, like, uh, a little bit of a yeah. some kind of movie or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 it depends on how early you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One hour or 15 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's you to give your honest opinion. I think it's you to give your honest opinion. I think it's you to give Yeah, you see, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of story? Okay, well, let's look at the other Yeah, you can be Yes, well, it depends on I think it depends on the person, right? Yeah. And over here, you guys were saying the same thing, right? It depends on the person. Yeah. 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 If it's your best friend or your sibling, maybe they. Maybe you could be a little bit more honest, yes. right? But your boss or you know your grandparents, you want to be. Yeah, exactly. And I think always the situation matters as well, right? Or you had just read um, if somebody has a clothing item they want your opinion on, right? If they can return it. Maybe you can say yeah, but yeah. But being as you said, well, there's in this case, in, in the case of the the clothes, mm -hmm. um, you have two two things. Um, you you can uh, get an opinion, mm -hmm. and uh, you can say facts. If you if you uh, tell a, a person a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is awful. Uh, yes. uh, like fact, mm -hmm. uh, probably uh, he feels mad. Yes. Uh, but if you if you say, uh, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't like it. It's, it's different. Uh, she exactly. Doesn't. It's more polite and it's, it's something uh, subtle. Yeah. Because everybody has different opinions, right? Mm -hmm. We don't all have the same sense of style. Very good, you guys. There were great discussions. If you could turn to page two. <clears throat> we have an article here called Conduct Becoming. I'm going to have you again work with partners, and you're going to read these definitions of the word becoming and unbecoming. And it might be a different definition than the definition you think of when you see this word becoming or to become, right? So go ahead and dis read these two definitions and discuss what you think conduct becoming means. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <coughs> um, a former fairly important um, person use uh, a piece of clothing, a, a coat, or a hairstyle that is becoming makes the person who is wearing it uh, too attractive. Um, so she was dressed in a strange becoming pressure suit. Becoming. Uh, she was dressed becoming black. The second definition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
understand. So what does unbecoming seem to mean? What does it change? Becoming? Unbecoming. The word used showing disapproval. Okay. You read it right here in this definition. So if something is very unbecoming, okay. it means that we don't think that it's something that we approve of, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think would um, conduct become? Um, becoming courteous uh, or color mm -hmm. might look attractive. Uh, the uh, conduct of a person who mm -hmm. becoming garments. Mm -hmm. No. That's um, yeah. dreadfully yeah. unbecoming or well, un well, whatever situation uh, um, yeah. it might be. Yeah. So if unbecoming is something you don't like, yeah. becoming yeah. would be something you do. Right. So, yes. Yes. This, is, this is the normal conduct, I the guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it would be, yeah, conduct that we think is okay. something that we approve of, that we like to see, yeah. which is hopefully right, the conduct that you have okay. in a business meeting. So what did you guys decide that conduct becoming might mean? Um, I guess, is it the... Appropriate and proper behavior. Yeah, the appropriate behavior, right? The appropriate conduct to have when you are in a business meeting, as you'll read here. Yeah, very good, you guys. So now, individually, you're going to read this article, Conduct Becoming. Don't worry right now about any words you don't know, and don't worry about these gaps in the text. They won't bother you while you read it.
Have we finished reading? Can we read one more moment? Okay, very good. Um, what was the topic of this article that you read? Uh, business, uh, I think it's a business meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the um, man, did he do well at his business meetings? Or mm, well, I don't think well, I don't think so because uh, he takes off uh, his jacket and not the tie. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? He did not do very well. Um, he felt comfortable mm -hmm. in the beginning, but then he made some mistakes, right? Yeah. Now there are some words in the article that might be new or might be review. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to have you work together again to complete this vocabulary activity where you find the definitions for these words. So on page three down here, you have some definitions for some of these words that are a bit um, outside of the normal English vocabulary. Have you heard this phrase before? To show what? Have you heard of this phrase before? To show what you're made of. Yes. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you are strong or. Yeah, not, uh, to show, you know, yeah. so what do the definitions say? Anything else? Yeah. yeah, exactly. This is the same as here. Mm -hmm. To show your qualities and abilities, very good. Um, yeah, it, it's a special form of a proper people for a proper particular purpose. And remember, as you're figuring these out, definitely refer back to the article yeah, to see the context that these are better because it's not. Yeah, the first one is not. For example, drive is hard to figure out if you don't see the context, right? Yeah, I guess it's the. I'm from Max person. So we don't see the drive. Yes. Any others? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, I think it's like a vision. Like an attitude. So, and yeah. having you the chance to show what you're really made of in your continuous drive for overseas sales. A special effort made by a group of people. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Fine. Pretty good? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. H4. Good. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. For number three? Yeah. Laid back, yeah, exactly. Very laid back person. Easy going, calm. Especially when things to be there for the precariousness or stupidity. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I would. Keep up. I think it is British, right? British. Yeah. Ah, British, British. British. Yes. No jokes. But here, um, and I know the meaning of, of the strategic uh, not because of the, the work, because the uh, Greek. Oh, yes. Maybe so, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. 
in the context, is starchy. What it really means is uh, usually in clothing. And, you know, in the past, it would be starch on clothes, make it very stiff, you know, on your pants. Yeah, you know, starchy. Yes, but now they're using starchy to refer to a person, right? Or to refer as an adjective of you know, personality. So here, it would be. Right, which one do you think it is? Very starchy and lining. Maybe four lines? Yeah, so it is a few more times. Exactly, exactly. I think it's similar function of position, but in another place or organization. Yeah, blunder. The counterpart of China. Blunder is a big mistake, right? We're trying to describe a person here, not a color, right? So it's very good. Okay. That would be adversaries, right? Yeah, I can see. I see. See. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
laid back. <coughs> laid back. Et calme, relax, et si bon. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. Starchy. Yeah, very formal, no showing a sense of humor. Very good. And a blunder. A big mistake, especially one which seems to be the result of carelessness or stupidity. Yeah, great job. Heat up. Um, very excited or tense before an important event. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's next? We've got somber. Sad or serious? Mm -hmm. Adversaries. People you are competing with. Very good. And counterparts. It's people who have a similar function of uh, position in another place of organization. Yeah, very good. Wait, were any of these particularly confusing for you? Or do we understand why we all got these answers, right? Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I think we all figured them out together, right? Very good, guys. Okay, so now go back to page three. Up here, we have six sentences that could be placed into our article. So in all of those gaps in the article, you are going to put one of these sentences in there. Okay. Okay? Do we put the letter? Or yeah, you can put the letter. Yeah. Alright. Work together. This can be a little bit confusing. Uh, there, there, is, there are just five gaps. So uh, one yeah. will not be used. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, the first one is Yeah, the first one is Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one is the 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 Yeah, that one is the